on Tire Review today, we are doing the top 10 all-terrain tires as voted by you, actually as reviewed by you. And so that's where you're probably not going to agree with what I'm going to show you today. I probably don't agree with what I'm going to show you today, but this is the top 10 all-terrain tires as reviewed on our website, tirereview.com.au. And you might find it quite interesting which ones are near the top. And so I find this really interesting because the top ranks actually change quite regularly through the year. Uh, so even when we ordered tires for this video, the tires have changed since we did that. Um, so we had to sort of you know, keep on top of that. Anyway, if you don't like what I'm, what I'm gonna show you today, or what I've shown you today, past tense, then rant about it in the com comments, but also leave your own review on the website because that's your vote. That's how you let other people know the tires that you've used and loved uh, let everyone else know in the future about that. So, first tyre, so tyre number 10, the 10th most popular tyre on tyre review right now, is the Maxxis Bravo AT771. Now, this is, this is a tyre that is like a medium duty all-terrain tyre. So, it's not the lightest, it's not the heaviest. It's got decent tread to it, so it's quite a lot of tread depth. Um, so it's a good run-of-the-mill SUVs. It's a two-ply sidewall tyre. So number nine. Number nine is the Toyo Open Country AT2. And for those of you that are saying, where's the AT3? Where's the AT3? Um, we don't have the AT3 down here in Australia yet, so I'm really interested to see where the AT3 comes in, uh, in terms of popularity, because the AT2 is already doing fairly well. And again, the AT2 is similar to the 771 in that it's a two-ply sidewall tyre, uh, excellent tread depth, um, it's a good all-round AT tyre. Next one is, this is number eight, it's the Nitto Terra Grappler AT. And I'll tell you about the specific votes once we've got all the tyres on the rack. So the Terragrapper AT is, again, it's similar to these other two in that you've got decent tread depth, perhaps not as much tread depth going on here, visually. Uh, Two-ply sidewall tyre. Um, I've tried to keep them all a relatively similar size as well, so it's more just the tread face that you can check out. So that's the Nero Terragrapper, that is number eight. Number seven is the Cooper... AT3LT. So I actually tested the XLT version, so the bigger brother version of this, which is basically the same thing but larger size a few years ago, and that was excellent. So I can see why it's coming at number seven. And then number six, we get into the first of the big boys. So this is the Nitto Ridge Grappler. So the Ridge Grappler is what we call a crossover tyre or an aggressive all-terrain tyre and there's a few different names for it but basically this is a three-ply sidewall carcass so it's the first of the three plies and it's got more aggressive tread so you see it's got these grooves or you know wider gaps in the shoulders and more densely packed centre blocks like a, a regular all-terrain um, so that's yeah it's the first of the more aggressive ones so that's coming in at number six and I reviewed these a little while ago and actually really liked them. So I can see why they're at number six. Number five. Number five is the Cooper ATT. So the Cooper ATT is a tyre that it's an all-terrain tyre with two ply sidewalls that's aimed at the SUV end of the market. So it's not quite as hardcore and aggressive as the Ridge Grappler that's next to it but it's actually been getting great reviews. And again, we'll go into the star ratings and that sort of stuff later on. So the ATT is number five. Number four is the Pirelli Scorpion AT Plus. And I got to test this one out a few years ago and it was spot on. Um, we've been putting up cards for the reviews so you can go back and check them out later on. But this is still a two ply sidewall tire but similar to our first couple of tyres, uh, well, you know, the, the, many of them through here really, it's got a slightly more aggressive tread face. Um, it's a bit more stiffer all around, so it's at the more aggressive end of the all-terrain 
market before you get to the actual aggressive all terrains. So, number three. Oh, here it is. Number three is the Falcon AT3W. So this one is a really popular tyre at the moment and it was actually number one for a long time there. So that's why it's interesting to watch what happens as they move around. So this is a two ply sidewall tyre, but it is actually really quite a heavily built tyre. Um, and it has been getting rave reviews. Again, it's a more aggressive tyre. So, you know, good spacings, a more aggressive all-terrain, but not, not quite the uh, aggressive all-terrain end of the market. Um, but it is actually an excellent option. So, number two is the Maxus Razor AT811. And this, similar to the Ridge Grapple we had earlier, is at the aggressive end of the all-terrain market. So this one is a three-ply sidewall tyre, has a stiffer carcass. Um, so the three-ply sidewall is what you'll normally find in like mud tyres. Um, but now they're starting to work their way into the all-terrain market as well. BFG did that firstly, first with the three-ply sidewall KO2. Um, but let's introduce the number one all-terrain tyre in Australia at the moment. And it is the Yokohama Geolander XAT. I find this actually interesting and surprising because um, it's a tyre that's got a relatively specific market. And it's probably why the people that have used it have loved it. Um, it's a three-ply sidewall tyre, similar to the Ridge Grappler, or sorry, the Ridge Grappler and the Maxxis AT811. Um, but I think what people are starting to find is the durability as well. However, less people have reviewed this than say the Falcon Wild Peak. So the Falcon Wild Peak has 231 reviews, while the Geo Lander XAT has 11 reviews. And so this is the thing. So at the moment, this is just purely based on the star rating of those who've given us feedback. So 231 reviews, 11 reviews. This one has had let me just reorganise this because I've got my sneaky notes in the back. I'm not actually remembering this just to break the fourth wall a little bit. This one's had 25 reviews. This one here has had 74. It's upside down, so it's a bit awkward. This one's had 22. This one's had 22 as well. This one's had 46. 29 reviews. 220 reviews. And where's my notes gone? They're here somewhere. and 32 reviews. And so it's interesting, the more reviews they get, the more differing opinions you're going to get. So I actually have a theory and you can apply this theory to everything. Um, my theory is called the percentage of <coughs> wits rule. So whatever you do, there's always gonna be a consistent percentage of F wits. And whether that's in business, if you deal with three people, there might be one sort of person who's a little bit of an F wit. If you get a thousand tyre reviews, there's going to be a percentage of people who are F-wits who are actually just reviewing it for shits and giggles and they don't care about the tyre or they had a really bad experience or they overinflated or something like that. So keep in mind that as tyres get more reviews, they're going to differentiate a little bit. So I'm reserving the right to change the algorithm at some stage, but at this stage, this is purely star rated. So let me go into that. So the 771 gets a 4.1 on average. And that's from 32 reviews. So the AT2 from 220 reviews gets 4.1. While the Nitto Terra Grappler from 29 reviews gets a 4.1. And then we step up, the AT3 LT from 46 reviews has a 4.2. The Reg Grappler, one of my favourites, has 22 reviews and has a 4.2. The ATT, we step up again, has a 4.3 from 22 reviews. The Pirelli Scorpion AT Plus has 74 reviews and they've given it a 4.3. The Falcon AT3W has a 4.5, and that's from 231 reviews. The AT811 also has 4.5 from 84 reviews. And the Geolander XAT also has 4.5 from 11 reviews. So these three are really close. 
So it's a percentage of not much that's actually separating them at the moment. So again, write your ranty comment on, in the comments down below and then go and review the tire that you actually want to appear higher up here because everyone loves the tires that they've used or hates them or you know, ambivalent about them. So let us know your experiences. The other interesting that I wanted to look into was what percentage of people would buy these tires again once they've used them? And I find this a really interesting metric. So again, we'll start down here at the number 10 most popular tire. So that's the Maxxis Bravo AT 771. And 72% of people would buy these again. And I find the would buy again metric a really interesting one because quite a lot of people, well, I mean, most people, you only get to change tires every three years, four years, five years, whatever. And so there is so much choice out here that quite often you wouldn't buy the tire again because you want to try something else. I mean, you probably might recommend it to a friend or, you know, but would you actually buy it again? Maybe, maybe not. So when we put you on the spot, some people will say no. Uh, the Toyo AT2, 71% of people would, would buy it again. So slightly less than the 771. Uh, the Nitto Terra Grappler, 76% of people would buy it again. The, uh, sorry, the Cooper AT3 LT, 83% of people would buy it again. So it's going the right way. The Reg Grappler, 77% of people would buy it again. So slightly less than the LT. The ATT, the Cooper ATT, we have 82% of people would buy it again. The Pirelli Scorpion AT Plus, 77% of people would buy it again. What about the Falcon? So it's interesting with the Falcon, we step it up a notch. 91% of people who have used the Falcon and reviewed it would buy it again. The Maxxis AT811, 84% of people would buy it again. And the Geolander XAT, 91% of people would buy it again. So again, that's a, it's, a, it's a really varying crop. And I find it interesting what people say about whether they would actually put down their spondularities on that tire again. So that's the top 10 all-terrain tires. We're filming this in, what is it, May 22. Um, we'll probably do this again every six months or so, again, because it does change so much. And we're seeing a really interesting crop of newer tires coming out. And with everyone in Australia buying dual cab utes, let's face it, they're the new Commodore. Everyone is interested in these tires at the moment. So um, tastes will change, interests will change. More people will get engaged in seeing this great country of ours. And hey, for all of you guys elsewhere, like in the States, hello, thanks for dropping in. Um, you're welcome to leave reviews as well. Just make sure you leave your, your, um, your zip code in there so we can tell you apart from the Australian ones. Um, but yeah, notes. I'm gonna be interested to see what happens next time we film this. So thanks for tuning in and see you next time.